Hi, it's Bruce Collins here. I'm the Senior Director of Product Line Management at Cambium Networks. I'm very excited to show you the newest part of the One Network set of products from Cambium Networks. This is the Cambium Fiber Solution. Latest, as I mentioned, that complements our wireless portfolio. Now we'll talk about our fiber portfolio, all of it managed with CN Maestro. So we've got three different products I'm going to show you today. Uh, one of the hallmarks of Cambium Fiber is that it is a simple portfolio. So I want to show you how simple it is to put this together. And then of course the software solution is what really brings it all together with CN Maestro interface and management and that zero touch provisioning and uh, really makes this easy to complement your wireless deployments now with a fiber deployment. So there's really three components here. Uh, what I'll start with first is the OLT. Uh, so this is our 16 port OLT. It's also available in an 8 port OLT. Um, it's a pretty simple solution, so you see it's rack mountable. A uh, couple things to point out. This is, I mentioned, is 16 ports. So each of these 16 ports uh, is our downlink or PON module. So I'll put in here either a, a G-PON optical transceiver, uh, an XGS PON, or with the latest technology, a combo PON. So I can do both those uh, one gig solutions as well as 10 gig solutions uh, with uh, uh, combo PON. And so I have different optics options, and those are all purchased separately. So again, you can populate these SFP downlink ports um, as you need them and as the demand comes. Um, in the uplink side, we have two QSFP 28 ports, so I can do 40 and 100 gigabit per second uplink transceivers. I've also got two SFP plus ports, so I can do uh, uh, 10 gig and uh, one gig uplink uh, and 25 gig in the uplink direction. There's also a uh, console port here, so you can do out-of-band management with an RJ45. So again, really simple and straightforward. I can build up up to 16 ports for my downlink. I can add up to four ports in the uplink. All of those optical transceivers are sold separately, so you need to kind of select, mix and match, combo pond, G pond, or XGS pond. Some of the other things that make this even more reliable, uh, it does have two uh, power supplies. These are hot swappable. This device here just has the AC input populated. I can also put a DC powered, a negative 48 volt power supply in here. Those are sold separately. You decide if I want two DC, one AC, one DC. Um, the AC will take priority, so I can have my primary be on AC and it'll fall back to DC if I need to. It's also got a, uh, a fan assembly here. This is uh, also swappable, so I can change that out if I ever need to do that. But otherwise, it's a pretty simple device. You can see that uh, and can cover the ports. So this is what you would put at the head end. You would provide some uh, splitters and divide out each one of those downlink ports into either our indoor ONT or the outdoor ONT. And I'll show you what those are all about. The indoor ONT comes in two flavors. You can either get the g -Pond version um, or you can get the XGS Pond version if you want to do that 10 gig service for the latest technology. Um, this this turns out to be the uh, this turns out to be the XGS Pond, but they look exactly the same, and what's in the box is exactly the same. Let me open that up so you can see the device is really small, compact. You can uh, uh, put this on a desk or mount it on a wall uh, with the uh, the wall mount here. Uh, but the ports are really simple. There's a uh, uh, a DC input power supply that comes in the box. You've got the, uh, in this case, a, uh, a 10 slash, a 100 slash 1 gigabit per second uh, uh, input port for your uh, data, and then uh, the pond port for the fiber. So very simple, you've got your data and your pond and a power supply. The power supply is included in the box. I'll show you that. It's a simple wall work type supply. Uh, depending on, this is the U.S. version, but we have different versions depending on where you are in the world as far as how you deploy that. That comes in the box along with uh, a 2 meter uh, Ethernet cable that comes in the box. So again, very simple device. You put it on the network, connect it to the, uh, to the OLT, and you've got uh, that, that PON connection. Similarly, so this is the indoor one. Similarly, we have an outdoor uh, ONT. This also is available in the g -PON or XGS PON uh, technology, so you choose which one of those you want. Um, this comes with a PoE injector. So I have the PoE injector and a AC line cord, again, country specific. And then what you'll do is uh, to take off the back panel, um, I can mount this on a pole or on a wall. 
Uh, again, very simple to mount this. Uh, the ports on it, you can see there's some cable management in here. And then I have the, uh, the pond port and then a, um, in this case, a 10, uh, a 100 slash one gig. And on the uh, XGS pond, I also have a 2.5 gig uh, RJ45 or, or uh, uh, 2.5 uh, base T uh, interface on the data side. This is PoE in as well. So then there's a nice feature that I can, uh, if I'm replacing or upgrading an existing wireless uh, user who had a 30 volt PoE device already in their home, um, I can simply replace that uh, radio on the outside of the house now with an ONT and I can convert them over to fiber. I don't have to go inside the house, do any wiring or do any power supply or anything like that. So it makes it for a real nice solution. And again, you can mix and match with all of this. You can mix and match uh, g pond xgs pon indoor, outdoor. It all fits together, all shows up in Maestro. And then of course, all of that sits right alongside your wireless uh, and your enterprise products within that uh, Cambium One network. So as I mentioned, we're, we're excited to be launching this product. Uh, lots of information is available on our website. You'll see opportunities to uh, participate in webinars and ask and get all your questions answered. I encourage you to reach out to cambiumnetworks.com and get all the latest information. Thanks.